Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a little bit since I filmed a video. Um, I was kind of waiting for um, some stuff to bloom and some um, packages to come in. Um, this is from my friends Judy and Mark at Breezy Hill Orchids. Um, I talk about them all the time because they're awesome. Um, and uh, I was chatting with them about um, a couple plants I ordered and uh, we decided it would be fun for me to unbox it on camera. So um, it was my first unboxing video. Um, it's kind of like a, a weird camera angle and lighting and stuff. I don't have a tripod or anything yet so I'm kind of like precariously balancing my phone um, in weird places. So um, we're just going to work with it and uh, do the best we can but I'm excited. Um, to show you guys these plants, so uh, let's get started. Um, every good unboxing video um, starts with someone opening a box with a knife, so that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna do it today. Um, this took a little longer to come in than usual, but it was not um, it wasn't their fault. Um, it was U USPS messed something up, so. No big deal. Um, let's take a look. Everything looks really nicely packaged. Um, I'm excited. Let's uh, check out this first one. I'm probably doing a terrible job kind of keeping everything in the frame. Oh my god. I knew right off the bat, I was like, I'm sure there's going to be something in here that I didn't pay for or didn't order because Judy and Mark are way too nice to me. This is, oh my god. Sorry for the awkward edit there, but I wanted to go look this up really quick and make sure um, I knew what it was. and. I'm so excited. This is such a cool orchid. Um, this is uh, Pleurophallus restripioides dragonstone. Um, so cool. Uh, Judy and Mark got one of these um, a few months ago, I guess, and um, they had like posted about it on Facebook and stuff, and I saw it and I was commenting on it, and they, I, I just fell in love with it, and they must have remembered and um, they hooked me up with this little, um, I don't know if it's like Division or Cakey um, or what, but it's super healthy and cute looking and I'm so excited. Um, I'll try to look up um, a picture of the flowers and insert it um, into the video. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Um, hopefully someone doesn't mind if I borrow their photo. Um, but the flowers are kind of like pendulous. They come off um, and hang a little bit and the, the buds kind of hang downward, um, kind of like bell-shaped. Um, they're so cool and they're sort of like red and white, like we're like spots. Um, I'm so happy to have this. I've been trying to branch out. I've got some Bulbophyllums and Masdevallias and stuff, um, but this is my first ever actual like Pleurothallus. Um, and I'm so happy to have it. It's so cute. I can't wait to put it on my shelves. It's gonna look awesome with my other plants. Um, thank you, Judy and Mark. This is so cool. Um, what a cool orchid. All right, let's uh, continue with the rest of the, the video here. Let's check out the next one. Alright, here is um, the other, uh, one of the ones that I ordered, um, it's uh, Fal Fasciata, um, I think the variety is called Naranja, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, they're really cool, if I remember correctly, they're kind of like, um, almost like a, a yellow or like rusty kind of orange with like some spots and stuff. They're really cool. I don't have many, um, many fowls like this, I guess. Um, 
I'm trying to get into more. I have a lot of kind of like no ID fouls and um, kind of random stuff, um, complex hybrids, but I'm trying to get more, um, not necessarily species, but you know, like the novelty type fowls. Um, so this is awesome and it looks healthy. It's got a little spike on it. Um, I think it's a little thirsty, so I'll have to water it, but it looks great and I'm super excited. That's going to be cool. Um, hopefully I get to see the flowers soon. Fowl spikes can take forever to, to mature, so it um, might be a little while, but I'm so excited. Um, we got one more, so let's see. I'm really excited about this one. So I've become like really obsessed with Mazda Valios lately. I think ever since, well, Judy and Mark actually, um, uh, I bought my first ever Mazda Valia from them. Um, it's up on my shelves there. Um, you've probably seen it in some of my other videos. It's gorgeous. It hasn't flowered for me yet, but it's got a ton of new growths and I'm pretty sure they're going, they're going to flower, I think. Um, so I kind of have them, uh, Judy and Mark, to thank for getting me, getting me into Mazda Valleys. I always liked them, but I was kind of scared to get one. Um, so when they um, hooked me up with one, um, it kind of, you know, got me excited about them. Um, so I have the first Mazda Valley I ever got um, from Judy and Mark, um, and then I had since gotten one more Mazda Valley. It's a Mazda Valley of Vichiana. So I only have two, um, before I got this one, I only had two. So this is my third Mazda Valia. It's super cute and healthy looking. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cute and small, but it's got so many, so many growths on it. It's awesome looking. Um, I haven't told you the ID yet. Um, it's Mazda Valia Haradere. Uh, probably saying that wrong um, if you can see that they're really cool flowers I think they are kind of um, they're small but they have really kind of long um, I don't know if they're really like petals on a Mazda Valia but you know what I mean the the points on it they're really long and kind of like spidery looking um, I think they're kind of like a really dark like burgundy sort of red maybe um, and they, they seem to kind of come out from, you know, some Mazda Valley is flower from kind of low and the spikes kind of um, sit uh, a bit like below the foliage. I, I think it kind of blooms that way. That's awesome. I'm really excited to now have three Mazda Valleys. I need more. Um, they're so cool. I'm, this is going to be a great um, addition to my collection. Um, super excited. Um, so here's my um, order from Breezy Hill Orchids. Um, Judy and Mark are really cool people. I talk to them like almost daily, um, just about orchids and life and, you know, uh, showing each other what we have in bloom and just, they're so like excited about orchids like all the time. Um, so it's really cool to have someone to kind of like share that passion with. I mean, all, all orchid growers are passionate, as we know, but, like, Judy and Mark are um, special people, and, and I really love dealing with them. I encourage you guys to check them out, too. Um, they started out as kind of like a, a bit of a smaller um, vendor, but they've grown a lot. They have a really nice little greenhouse. I've seen um, lots of pictures and videos of it. Um, they've really kind of, like, stepped up their game, and they have, like, a pretty good inventory of stuff. Um, so check them out. I usually um, find them on their Facebook um, page, just Breezy Hill Orchids. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to go um, get these watered and um, find a spot to put them underneath my lights. And they're going to look so cute with my other plants. I'm so stoked. Thanks again, Judy and Mark. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, and I do have another video coming really soon. I have a couple 
gorgeous orchids they're right in front of me I really should just show them to you now but I wanted to do like a separate video about them I have some really cool stuff in bloom um, and I'm gonna probably film that video tomorrow or something and try to get it posted pretty soon because um, I took kind of a long break in between there I didn't post a video for like two weeks which was kind of a bummer um, so I'm back on back on the back on the ball now um, so I can't wait to show you guys um, an update of my collection because there's lots of cool stuff happening so stay tuned and I will see you in the next one